All right, it says that we're live. And we're live. <laughs> we are here. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Good to see everybody. Even though you're not here <laughs> yet, but you will be. <laughs> All right, it's we're uh -huh. in. Rowan Temple of Light, co-host with the Optimus. <laughs> So good to see everybody. That's going to be good. That's going to be good. So do we go ahead and start breathing? Or we want to go ahead and, and wait for a few folks? Because I can't see when people get in, you know okay. what I mean? Or or who's viewing. Like, that's okay. not. Um, can you see the chat box? Uh, no. Yes. Yes. Okay. I can see that. Okay. Okay. Is that where people will show up even if they're no. not chatting? Um, no, just if they if they want a reading or they have a comment or if they want to be nice and say hello, okay. then uh, cool. That was me. That was me that said hi there. Yeah. All right. Okie dokie. All right, we've got a we've got a few people in here now, so. Wonderful. So let's go ahead and get the party started, right? Yes. It's good to see everybody. Thank you guys so much for being here. We have lots of great divination awesomeness for you guys this evening, and it's going to be it's going to be really exciting. But before we get started, I definitely think we should take a few moments to do some breathing exercises. I have a crystal quartz singing bowl over here, and it is tuned with the heart chakra to let everybody kind of open our hearts, be open to the fabulous messages, and allow us to. Uh, uh, to, to get our party started tonight. Are you trying to speak, Gwen? Am I talking? Nope. I'm just waving at everybody. <laughs> Let's take a deep breath and inhale on the ding. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Now exhale slow. We're going to do that two more times. All right. Take a deep breath. Inhale on the ding. Exhale. One more time. Take a deep breath. Inhale on the ding into the heart chakra. And hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Exhale. always that slow exhale that really calms the parasympathetic nervous system and lets us start our moments calm. Always breathe. Remember to breathe. Remember to breathe. Gwen? Okay, so hello everybody. Thank you for joining tonight. This is The Optimist and we're so blessed to have him tonight and he's got different oracles and has we been have some too nice many oracles. Too many, too many. <laughs> but it's good. It's We're gonna have some fun tonight. So if you would like to have a reading, we can just say let us know and we'll get started drawing. So now remember uh, this is divination within divination. That that is exciting. Double divination, if it were, right? Yes. Because uh, you never know what you're gonna get. A uh, little disclosure, I have several decks up here that I have not actually worked with before. So it's going to be it's going to be fun. It's going to be a night of learning and, mm -hmm. and crossing into some territory that we we haven't jumped into. So it'll be fun. It'll be fun. We've got lots of good stuff. It's uh, who, who's here. Who do you see, Gwen? OK, so we got David Jervis. He's a Smoky Mountain Tarot. And then there's Flora and Brenda and Natalie. Um, me and her used to be roommates in high school. Uh, Colin's here, Joanna, Dottie. Oh my gosh, uh, it's so good to see all you beautiful people. Thank you guys so much for being here. Right, okay, well, we got jumping in already. So Flora's the first one to get in that she would like a reading. So let's get started. Let the fun begin. All right, what do we have here? I guess I'm starting it off tonight. All right. Yeah, Crystal Oracle. All right. 
Crystal Oracle? Yes. They are all gemstones. It's a Daily Crystal Inspiration. Oh, I love that deck. That is such a great deck. Oh, yeah. So let's see what we've got here. With that particular deck, it's always like actually having the crystal in front of you. Like the, the yeah. pictures are so crystal clear. Crystal clear. And it, it's like you really get the vibe from the crystal just by, just by holding on to the card. Whew. Hey, let's supplement that, Gwen. Let's do let's supplement the crystal reading with a tarot bag. Oh, okay. So, everybody, we have something a little different um, tonight that um, maybe not, maybe you've never seen before. Um, but they're called tarot dice. And we each actually have a set. So, like, if you're familiar with the tarot, the tarot is a deck of like 78 cards with five suits. Uh, the uh, wands, cups, swords, pentacles, and then the major arcana. And so with the tarot dice, what we've done is we've, well, we haven't done it, but the company that created them uh, put the 78 cards on a uh, on 13 different dice. So there's 13 dice in here, and they all represent, or all 78 cards of the tarot are represented in this, uh, in this set. So one of the things that I like to do when we're, you know, doing a reading is we'll reach into the die or into the bag. We'll pull one out. We'll give it a roll. And who is this for again, Gwen? Flora. For Flora. Okay. So I'm going to give this a roll for Flora. And then that's going to supplement your, um, your, your crystal. Okay. Flora. So what I, the three cards that we got, blue lace agate or agate, whatever you want to call it however you pronounce it, um, the tiger's eye, and the black tourmaline. So what these, what these are saying is that you have a situation that is going to push your boundaries. You need to take a step back, look, and handle the situation. Protect yourself, remain calm, and push through. It may, may be out of your comfort zone, but you're going to need to push through it. Okay, what you got? Well, I will have three of wands. And the three of wands let's see if I it represents foresight, uh, exploration, and a sense of leadership, Flora. So what I feel like the in addition to what we've got with the stones over there is like this is a period for you to really come into being a leader kind of stepping up and having some foresight for how things are going forward. That's really, it's about being a visionary and being able to kind of see where things are going. So that that's, that's in addition to that. That's hope that makes sense to you, Flora. It sounds like an intense, you know, uh, situation, <laughs> but, but step into it. It's going to be great. Oh yeah. All right, so up next is Joanna. So back in here. I miss her energy so bad. It's just not the same not being around her face to face. So she's she's pretty local to you, isn't she? She is. She's basically a neighbor. I mean she's not like right next door, but just a few minutes down the road, right? Oh. All right. Oh, your affirmation cards. Ooh, affirmators. Yes. All right. Let's go into some affirmation. Who are we pulling for here? This is for Joanna. Yes, that's for Joanna. All right. Let me, let me reach over here. I have like all of my cards over here. Do, do, do. Affirmators, there it is. All right, here we go. We have a uh, a unicorn riding a rainbow. That's very, it's very Joanna, right? It's just a unicorn. Mm, yes. Oh, with a bunny. Oh. Perfect. All right, let's see what we got. Joanna, this message is 
for you. So Flora said we were dead on. Fantastic. Love that stuff. That's always good. Yes. Right, Joanna, the affirmator that I pulled for you here is strength. I'm going to read that one to you. Oof, maybe if I don't drop it on the floor. Okay, here we go. Joanna. Strength, you are hereby declared a strong, resilient warrior of heroic proportions. Enjoy your battles, whatever they are, because you're guaranteed to come through them stronger, brighter, and more compassionate. And based on what I know of mythology, probably with great hair and a six pack. There we go. That's for you, Joanna. <laughs> We just pulled some strength right out for you. Let's pull a die, too. Let's oh, see. yes. You want to pull the die this time, Joanne? Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. but you're going to have to interpret it. I'll interpret. That's fine. Okay. Well, I did cleanse these. So in as I cleanse these, when the smell coming off of them is, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. All right. The I believe this is the page of cups. That is the page of cups. The pages okay. are messengers. The pages bring things that we need to adopt from their suit. So specifically the cups, they are an emotional energy. And the page of cups is telling us to be emotional, to be caring, to be intuitive, to, to be kind. Like we're really connecting to those emotional energies. So even though you are a, a superhuman uh, being with strength that is like that of a Greek goddess, six pack and amazing hair, it's important to remember to be kind, to be loving, to be intuitive. So even though you're tough, right? Let, let's, 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 let's remember to, to care about the people as you're crushing them, right? That's how we do it. <laughs> Thank you so much love, Joanna. Take a deep breath and inhale on this ding. And exhale slow. Every time we all breathe together, we're all getting some of that good loving. So definitely indulge. Mm. Uh, Joanna says she's trying to be nice, but it's difficult. I mean, right? <laughs> people. So uh, Natalie said that she pulled the strength card today, too, for her affirmations. Uh, Dottie said that is some ASMR stuff right there. <laughs> Joanna said, yes, I claim that strength. <laughs> so I just wanted to let everybody know I do, I do have you listed in order as you ask for a reading. So right. let's go on through. Up next is Dottie. All right, Dottie. Dottie the psychic. She was. Welcome, Dottie. She was our um, guest co-host last week, and if you missed it, go over to Rowan Temple of Light on YouTube, and they all the videos are there. Awesome. Oh, this is the one that I said I was going to take out, but I didn't. Whoops. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, the Archangel Raphael. Okay, Oracle. so this is a deck that I do not, have not used. Push yourself. Yes, push out it. of the comfort zone. We're going to push it. <laughs> All right, Dottie. So I have these um, Archangel Raphael healing oracle cards. And we're going to pull one of these for you, Miss Dottie. I'm going to try really hard not to drop them everywhere. Here we go. <laughs> Dottie said, push it real good. <laughs> well, it's funny that she says that. <gasps> it's funny that she says that. Oh, no, Dottie. It's our message here is massage. <sighs> Massage. When's the last time you've treated yourself, Dottie? 
Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me know that I deserve to receive messages and other self-care treatments. So what this says to me, Dottie, what this says to me is you're not really taking care of yourself. You're not treating yourself. Sometimes you got to treat yourself so that you can, uh, when we're pampered, I'm not even pampered, when we just take care of ourselves, when we take care of our mental health, when we take care of our own well-being, we have so much more to give to other people. And a lot of us are givers, a lot of us are fixers, a lot of us are really apt to take care of and take on other people's problems without really taking care of our own, right? So what Archangel Raphael is saying to me for you, Dottie, is you go get a massage. Go get a massage, go to the spa, take a spa day, get a man and get a petty, take care of yourself, right? Because that's what we need to do. That's what we yes. need to do. I hope that makes sense to you, Dottie, sending a lot of love. And I'm sure Gwen's gonna pull a card for you and then we're gonna take a breath. Okay. A card, a dice. No, a dice. You got to pull a, a dice. dice. She said, I've actually been trying to work on that and put it on my Abitica. Okay. So good. Yeah, because everybody else is, is saying self-care and treat yourself. Everybody's agreeing. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I, actually, I think that's good advice for everybody right now. Okay. So six of coin pentacles. Yep. Six of coins. Six, uh, six of pentacles represents having or not having access to knowledge, power, or resources. So what I'm looking at here, especially when we're looking at the message of, of massage of self care, right it, it's like sometimes we just don't have access to those things or or maybe there's some financial resources that kind of prevent you from going out and getting a massage maybe we need to Aww. look at some situations that um that that uh um you know that we actually have more control over you know what i mean if there's something that's outside of your reach and it may not even be a financial thing but pinnacles and coins tend to be a financial situation so um you know a walk in the park right long warm baths with epsom salts you oh, know yeah like uh um you know just just gardening i mean we can't garden much now it's cold and the weather's shitty uh, but, you know like but in bulk is this coming weekend okay all right and it the one thing that i do every year i have to throw this out there because I I have already planned out what I want to plant. So it's a blessing of the seeds time. Oh, okay. So Ooh. get that energy out there because this is going to kickstart your abundance. Because they're nice. just going to go from here. That's great. Nice. Dottie, take a deep breath and inhale on this thing. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Exhale. Remember to do that exhale slow. So good. So good. Okay. So up next is Colin. I love the music playing in the background. Oh, great. Um, Okay, did you did you have a healing card? Or was it uh, maybe I put those two separately? The archangel is that the only healing card you had? Uh, I think so. Yeah, that's. Um, I have a crystal mandala, but that's that's the only angel. Okay, card. you want me to pull a different one then? Unless unless Colin wants an angel healing card too. Uh, gilded tarot. Gilded tarot. I love this deck. I have, I have it. Okay. So for this one, uh, I'd like, I want to do three cards. It might be a little too much, but I want to do three cards. Um, mm -hmm. and what I'm going to do is, oh, I don't have enough room to do everything that I want to do. I'm improvising. Uh, I want to pull three cards for you, Colin. And uh, the, the first card is going to be like a central theme. 
like this is what's going on, right? This is what everything's kind of revolving around in your life. Now, if you want to bring a specific area to the table, you can do that. You don't have to tell us, but like if you want to, you can. In my brain, I'm going to think general, but if you've got something in your life that's going on, you can just kind of think about that and it'll pertain to that. So I have my central issue and then I have two cards, one that's opposing. It's like, okay, this isn't really helping you right now. And then the other one is a helpful situation. Like, okay, let's usher this in. Let's work with this because it's going to be helpful. Make sense? Perfect. Yes. <laughs> Everything is revolving around right now a page of wands. The page of wands, again, we were just talking about pages, about pages being messengers, and they tell us to kind of take on the characteristics of their suits. This page is telling us that we need to adopt the fire that comes with the page of wands. We need to be creative. We need to be courageous. We need to be charismatic. There's a level of passion that we need to bring to the table when we see uh, the wands energy. So everything's revolving around that right now. Let your fire out, Colin. We know there's a fire in there. Oh, What's yeah. <laughs> What's working against you right now? This is a reverse Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups, I'm going to show it to you upright. The Ten of Cups represents joy, peace, family. There's like a family and they're sitting there. I'm going to try to get the glare off. There's a family. They got their, you know, their rainbow of cups up there and it's like a happy situation. Just, ooh, I just spun the tree. Uh, the um, the uh, the reversal says it's like we have some family drama that's working against you. Or maybe the family situation is kind of working against you. I don't know where Gwen went. She disappeared. But hopefully she'll come back. So that is a... I wanted uh, them to see the card. <laughs> oh, that was good. No, it was good. Uh, the fun, it's funny because with the, these cards, they're not quite as detailed as like the Gilded Terra Royale. You know what I mean? But anyway, so what's kind of working against you, it's preventing you from having that charismatic, uh, from letting that passion out, is some family drama. There's some family stuff that's like kind of making it hard for you right now. What is helpful though? What is helpful is not being so aggressive, right? And it's funny because it's one thing to be creative and to be charismatic. It's something else to kind of be aggressive and defiant, right? And it's helpful this is, you can pull that back up, Gwen. This is a reversed seven of wands. And you see this guy has his back against the door. He has got six wands coming at him. He is protecting that door. He does not want anybody to get what's behind there. But because it's reversed in your helpful position, it says to me that it would be helpful for you to not be aggressive, for you to not be defiant, for you not to feel like your back is pressed up against the wall. Um, and that's what I have for you, Colin. That's what I, everything is kind of revolving around not having this passion, not having this creativity, but you have to channel that creativity in a way that you're not just being aggressive, right? That's what we have for you, Colin. I hope that makes sense. You want to pull a die? Yes, I already got it. Beautiful. Okay, so this is a this is a little weird. Two to a coin. Uh -huh. Two of Pentacles. Why does it have that thing around the outside? So that thing around the outside, <laughs> that, that's a shield. That's a shield. So this, these, the, these shields represent the knights, and that's a knight of Pentacles. And so the knights, oh. of the, court, the court cards that are knights, those are extreme personality types. These people have positive and negative characteristics, but they tend to take it to the extreme. For example, right, the Knight of Pentacles might be thorough, right? They, they don't leave any stones uncovered, but on the, ex the negative extreme, they might be obsessive. They might take that thoroughness to where they, they obsess over things. That's a problem. We want to bring that into balance. Another example might be that they're hardworking, right? We like that. But then on the other side, they might be grinding like we don't like that. Right. So we want to find some balance. And another example might be unwavering. Right. Somebody who the Knight of Pentacles was is just really uh, dedicated to what they're doing. But then other times the negative extreme, they might be stubborn. And that's a problem. So I don't know anyone like that. Do you? Mm. So let's just keep that in mind and make sure that we maintain some balance as we're as we're going through that. Take a deep breath for us. Cullen. inhale on this ding. And exhale slow. Beautiful. 
Wonderful. Yes, this is going great tonight. We're just powering through here. Now, remember, everybody, if you've said that uh, you wonder reading, I do have you down. All right, let's see here. The universe has your back, and this would be for David Jervis. David. David now, who? Jervis. He is a Smoky Mountain Tarot. He Fantastic. actually, that's his tarot school. That is so cool. Yes. Okay. A uh, universe has your back. Um, I, oh, yes. Okay. This is, <laughs> this is another new one. I don't have any experience with this one, but this one's really simple because basically I just have to read the card. Well, good. It's because everything new is in me. Everything's a learning experience. That's what we're here to do. Learn, have fun. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, David? Is that what it was, David? I don't yes. Know, the name keeps slips. Like the date, the name stays, but then it slips. Uh, so, David, what I have for you is the universe has your. I'm actually gonna do three cards for you uh, with this, and so it's not really. There's not really a um, a uh, like positions for them. It's just gonna be three cards. It'll just be three cards, and then Gwen will throw a uh, a thing for you. So, David, I love these little things. <laughs> All right, David. The first one is this. Okay, hold on. I can't read it. Fairness, freedom, lights up the world. Let me read it like this. My fearless freedom lights up the world. This is not working for me. My fearless freedom lights up the world. So, David, I, I feel like being free, right, gives you a chance to kind of share your talents with the world. The second one here says, My faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth and fear into love. I'm going to read that again. I'm going to give you that ASMR today. My faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. That's fantastic. That's beautiful. One more, David. One more. If I can get it out, because it doesn't want to happen. I'm trying really hard to keep all of the cards from not landing on my lap. So here we go. I honor how I want to feel. I honor how I want to feel. Sometimes we feel like, you know, sometimes we don't want to feel a certain way. But I don't want to feel this way. I want to feel that way. Well, your feelings are your feelings. And sometimes we just have to feel them sometimes. And when we choose to honor how we feel, then we're giving validation to ourselves. Sometimes we don't need a card to tell us that it's okay to feel a certain way. Sometimes we don't need a reader to tell us that sometimes we just honor our feelings. And sometimes it's hard because we don't feel justified to feel certain ways, right? So that's what I have for you, David. We have my faith has the power to turn faith, to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, fear into love, and my fearless freedom lights up the world, especially when you turn that fear and all of that into, turn that trauma into healing, right? Three of swords. Oh, David. Ugh. Oh. You want to you want to do that again, Gwen? <sighs> he said, well, "Thank you. That was good. All kinds of good news." Well, the three of swords represents heartbreak, betrayal, the sense of loneliness, and sometimes, especially with us, you know, being in the middle of a pandemic, a lot of us are feeling feelings of loneliness. A lot of us are feeling like we just 
you know, kind of heartbroken. We're not having birthdays. We're not having parties. We're not having gatherings. Like it's, it's a lot for a lot of people. And uh, my heart goes out to you, David, but take a deep breath on this, on this ding, inhale the healing vibes to the heart chakra. David, you are awesome, and we love you. All right, next up is Brenda. I love Miss Brenda. Hello, Brenda. Uh, Welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, oh, no, that is actually one. Okay. Oh, the universe has your back again. Sure. I did yeah. actually uh, I, I put it in there twice. So, yes. All right, Brandon. We're going to do three cards for you as well. Hopefully. I'm telling you guys, if I drop these on the floor, ain't nobody getting these messages. That's, that's the list. That's who we've got ne next. If you do not see your name there, um, uh, comment and I'll get you listed. And this is Brenda? Yes, Brenda. Brenda. Yes, I'll roll your die. <laughs> Brenda, I want you to uh, to repeat after me, okay? Out loud or silently. When I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. Let's do that again. When I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. I'm going to show you this. When I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. Your next one, Brenda, repeat after me again. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. Let's do that again. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I manifest. I'm going to show you that one as well. All right, last one. Repeat after me again. Joy is the ultimate creator. Joy is the ultimate creator. That's what I have for you, Brenda. Those are some beautiful cards. Powerful. Very. All right, Brenda. I got to die right here, baby. Whoa. Ten of cups. Ooh. Is that ten? Yeah. Ten of cups. That's a really positive card. The ten of cups represents joy. It's peace. It's family. <coughs> Excuse me. It, it's about having all of the family stuff working out. Like uh, it, it, it's about having a sense of peace. When you look at the traditional Rider Waite tarot, it's like a man and a woman and they're looking out over a field. They have their hands up in the air and they're like, look at what we have accomplished. They have reached the pinnacle of emotional success. That is a great card, Brenda. I'm really excited for you. Sending you a lot of love. Take a deep breath. Inhale on this ding. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Exhale.
Beautiful. Okay, next up is Emily. And she is nursing her little one tonight. So Aww. healing and love and blessings out to the little one. just nice to sing it sometimes just feel that in the heart feel that in the heart let it open up okay so for emily um it's light seer's terror light seer's tarot oh my gosh that was bad uh, well i had to think about it for a second i was like did i even bring that in here no i have to good Quite okay good. so up up on the list is katie carmen myra sheila and natalie so this was who was this now this is emily emily all right emily it's very exciting let me put these back over here okay. and emily i'm gonna pull three cards for you and they will um Again, we'll have the central theme, something that's kind of working against you and something that is helpful. All right, Emily, we're looking at a reversed empress. And this is an energy that is uh, kind of what everything's revolving around. Now I'm gonna show it to you upright. The empress represents fertility she represents abundance. She represents um, the senses. Uh, as you can see, I mean, she's got the world like right there. Oops, she's got the world as part of her um, part of her womb there, right? And so uh, this is a mothering figure. She represents um, mothering situations. Now, because it's reversed, I feel like maybe we've got mothering problems. Maybe there's some fertility issues. Perhaps, you know, your own mother might, might be a strained relationship um, and everything is kind of revolving around that right now. Right now, that's an energy that is, that's what we're looking at. There's a reversal that's kind of, you know, dictating that. This is something that's working against you right now. And this energy here, this is the high priestess. The high, pri where can you see my face? The high, anyway, the high priestess represents non-action. She's a passive energy. She represents uh, kind of letting things just happen, right? Not doing a whole lot. Sometimes she represents an unexplored potential. But this is an energy that's working against you right now. And this, may, like not doing anything, it's kind of a problem. Having this passive energy, it's not really helpful. It's not working for you right now. So this is an opposing energy. Something that is helpful, though, this is this is something that we want to maybe do more of. Lots of Ten of Cups today. This is uh, this is a reversed Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups, again, as we mentioned earlier, represents joy, peace, family, the pinnacle of success, uh, of emotional success. This is a really positive card, but. The reversal kind of says that maybe causing a little family drama would be helpful, right? Maybe shaking things up, maybe shaking up the status quo in terms of family affairs would actually be helpful at this time. So not doing anything at all is working against you. Um, and, you know, maybe shaking things up would be helpful. So that's that's what I have for you. I, I hope that makes sense. I mean, normally you don't want to say cross and family drama. That's not really helpful. But, but maybe in this situation, if the shoe fits, right? Yeah. Yeah. And and David, where where exactly are you? He said it's snowing where he's at. Oh gosh. Okay, so now that you've schooled me, we have the Knight of Cups. Right. Oh, right. Knight of Cups. That's right I'm on. Learning. 
Learn. So uh, <laughs> nights are, what do you remember what nights are? Like what, what are nights? Do you remember? Oh no, you're doing it to me. That's okay. That's okay. They're extremists. They're the okay. extreme types, right? They're oh the yeah, that's right. So they have positive and negative characteristics, but a lot of times they, they have a harder time, you know, kind of balancing. Think about the hormonal teenager, right? Like they can't, they, they're either totally on or they're totally off, right? Like a lot of the nights, like in terms of like, cause you have the pages are younger, the nights kind of represent like teenagers and the king and queen represent adult men and women. And so with the extremists, that's where that comes from, kind of the hormones. So somebody's stomping around acting like a little kid when they need to grow up and act like an adult. Right, that can happen. You know, <laughs> but, but with the Knight of Cups specifically, right, they're emotional extremists because cups are an emotional energy. Uh -huh. So on the positive side, they might be sensitive and we like people who are like that. But then on the other side, they might be temperamental. Right. We don't know how to act around them because they're like moody. Right. Or maybe they might be romantic, which is great. Or they'll kind of like go into being over emotional, which is a problem. There's a difference between I love you so oh, much. and Oh, my God. I love you. Right. You know, we want to like kind of bring that into balance. So that's that 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 that's the that's the Knight of Cups in a nutshell. It's totally. Oh, wow. Mind. OK. Um, so up next is Katie. I know she's been waiting patiently. You all are being so great tonight. Thank you all so much. Yes, thank you for being here. Um, so David's in McDowell County, and Sheila said it's snowing in Nitro. Um, okay, so Emily's response. Actually, I think it does in a very weird way. It does. Been battling this huge suck of energy that makes doing anything productive feel like a slug through mud. mud. Okay. Uh, snowing in green sulfur, sulf, oh my gosh, green sulfur springs, Summers County as well. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Um, Mandela Oracle, Crystal Mandela Oracle for Katie. All right. This one, this one is really a beautiful deck. I've never used this deck before either. So let me, I need to like arrange myself because my, my stuff, I'm getting a little buried alive in my, in my cards here. So I got to move some things around. I don't think we're going to use these again. And who's this for? This is for Katie. Katie. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm just going to put those there. Okay. Katie, thanks for your patience, love. All right. So I'm going to pull. This is for Katie. Five. Angel. Lahel. Ilya, I don't even know how to pronounce that. And let, okay, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to tell you what the, the or it's individuality, right? It's beautiful. Ooh. So the first thing here is individuality. So what I want to say here is that you, you are a, you are unique right? You are one of a kind. You're the only one of you. And I feel like the first message here is to embrace your individuality. There are things that I feel like you might be insecure about, but there are the things that make you uniquely you. So embrace that about yourself. Embrace that because that's, there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like doing it. This is a three-step plan for you. I feel like this is a three-step plan. So the first part of that is to embrace your individuality. Yeah, she she said I take pride in being unique. Yes, she she does. She's a she's a beautiful soul. I love her dearly. The, the step two is to embrace integrity. Integrity is, it's like being a, a quality human being, you know, doing the right things for the right reasons, not just because someone's watching, doing things because you care, not just because you think you're going to get something in return, 
uh, our step two really is embracing our uh, our sense of integrity for ourselves, holding ourselves to a high regard, and um, and, and and operating with that high standard. So, being in uh, step one, embrace your individuality. Step two, embrace your integrity. Now, this one was reversed. I'm not sure how to read this. Uh, your step three, it's descending power. Descending power. I don't know. When I look at this, I see with the uh, the red, this is like a root chakra. But because it was reversed, I feel like perhaps your root chakra might be underactive. I feel like the root chakra might be underactive. And when the root chakra is underactive, sometimes we have issues um, with insecurity which is funny because you're just talking about integrity and individuality. Insecurity kind of happens when we, if we don't embrace those wholly or completely, or if we find ourselves, uh, or if our security is threatened, right? And so uh, our step three is to maybe work on balancing that root chakra. Um, I, I, without looking at the book, I'm not really sure what the descending power is, but intuitively the root chakra is what really speaks to me. Um, she asked what those cards were. What the Again, cards? Like the, the, those, oh, the, yeah. the what what deck is it? Oh, the, the deck. The, the crystal deck Mandela. Crystal, yeah, crystal Mandela. Elena Fairchild is the artist. Yeah, every, everybody's commenting on how beautiful they are. They're gorgeous. Alana, if you guys like Elena Fairchild, A L A N A. F A I R C H I L D. She she also has like the Light Worker Oracle, uh, and it's a really stunningly beautiful deck. She's all of her stuff is really good. What'd you throw there, Gwen? Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles represents uh, a change in direction, right? This is when we're kind of harvesting the uh, rewards of our labor. Right. You see the guy on the traditional on a traditional deck and he's, you know, he's got his hoe, his hoe, his like his gardening tool. He has his gardening tool. And and so he's kind of leaning on it and he's like harvesting his vegetables. Right. So anyway, you know, you can do that with a hoe, you know, that's right. it, it's good. So um, but that that's what we're looking at. We're looking at a, a time period where we can kind of harvest uh, the fruits of our labor. You've been working hard. You've done the gardening. You've tinned and pruned and all that. So now you can now you can pick your vegetables. Yeah, she said insecurities are always a struggle. Since my divorce, I've spent almost three years learning to love myself. One thing yeah. a day or a week till I love that part of me. And I've seen it. She she has changed so much in the time that I've since I've met her. I have to run to the bathroom. I hate to leave you guys, but if I don't go, I'm going to pee my pants. So I need you to like make my screen go away and I'll be back. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So um, up next, we have Carmen and Myra and Sheila and Natalie. So those are the four that I have left. So if, if that's, that's it, then we'll do it. Uh, Remember having to hoe the garden? Yeah. Well, I dig it. Yes. <laughs> so y'all give me some feedback. How are you liking these lives? Um, is there anything that you would like to, to see us pull out um, as far as divination wise? Um, Right now, I'm just trying to showcase different types as we have a different co-host every time. Um, anybody that is interested in in coming on sometime, just shoot me a message and we'll get you scheduled. Every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. right here. Um, right. Reaping what you sow is wonderful. Yes, we. I, I am planning to do this every single week. Um, so on the ep ones that you have missed was the first night was Ace and Night. And then last Wednesday was with Miss Dottie the Psychic. And then we're on our third night now. 
So, um, so this is for anybody from beginner all the way up to if you've been doing it for 20 some years uh, or more, 20 plus. Um, but I just want to do this and have a little bit of fun midweek and relieve some stress, laugh a little bit. Um, if you've missed the missed the episodes and want to go back and watch them, they are over on YouTube. Um, just search Rowan Temple of Light and they're all right there. All, all the lives that I'm doing on that I did for Yule, they're over there as well. All of the videos from um, Central West Virginia Pagan Pride 2020 are also over there. Um, had some great classes. Hello, Sherry. Thank you, Brenda. Yes, so, so Natalie, whenever you're ready, sweetheart, we'll 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 just have a have a field day with it. Ooh, some bone reads. That would be awesome. <clears throat> Thank you, Brenda. <laughs> so Brenda said I have great ideas. I try to. You know, remember what's associated with us with Rowan Temple of Light is West Virginia Pagan Calendar. West Virginia Wiccan Pagan Support, of course, uh, Rowan Temple of Light Online Community. Um, all right, I think he is back and we are ready to go. Boom! Well, well I'm sorry about that. Listen, when nature calls, I just gotta go. If I don't I go, understand I'm going. completely. You know? Dottie, would you be willing to try out bone readings? Okay, so somebody brought up that it would be really interesting to find somebody that did bone divination. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, sure. Yeah. So Dottie says she has a set of bones. So that sounds really but, good. Yeah. I was asking everybody what they thought of, of how things are going and, and stuff like that. So everybody's got some really positive feedback. That's great. So did I, I, I feel like I left in the middle and I wasn't sure if she was done with the crystal mandala. Did you use someone else while I was gone? No, no. Okay, perfect. Uh, so we gave her individuality or in, uh, integrity was the second one. Individuality was the first. And then the third one was like really working with the root chakra. Then you pulled the die. That was the, the pentacles, the night. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, great. Uh, I just wanted to take a breath for her because I don't think I took a breath. Yes, Dottie, plug yourself. And now remember, um, Dottie the Psychic was on here with us last week. Like, like I just said, you can find the video over on YouTube. Okay, so Carmen is up. I dropped my dinger, so I can't ding the bowl. Oh, <gasps> no! Where's my... Oh, this is my monology. Oh, great. You can do that, and I can grab my... Okay. Uh, I click that here, and then I'll throw a die for you. Wonderful. All right, Beth, I'll get you get you listed. So Beth is going to be on here next Wednesday. That's exciting. So if uh, if you're interested, Beth does have a Facebook page. It is for her business, uh, Blackberry Botanicals. Oh, yeah. Me, Dottie, and Asen, we're all on TikTok. But I don't do, I do not do readings and stuff like that. I just do stupid stuff and, and dance. <laughs> just let it out. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to release a little bit of stress and you do however you want to do it. Okay. Got my dang it. Hashtag disabled struggles. Oh, girl. Okay. So you, um, you've been holding back from, from something, um, because you've been unsure. Um, uh, cards is what do you need to release? The answers you need are coming. 
and it's time to take action. Those are pretty. Yes. Okay, so what this is telling me is that you're, you're going to have to let, let go of what has been, you know, you've been worried about. You're just going to have to power through. That seems to be the central theme for this evening, isn't it? Like, it's funny how, how stuff like that happens. But, but yeah. It's like that, that's two different all, sets of cards. We're all going through our own journey. Yeah. We're all experiencing the same shit, just different ways, you know? Like, yeah. It's not anything that hasn't been experienced before. Yeah. So, okay. what, um, and who is this for again? What was her name? That was for Carmen. Carmen, this is uh, this is your your uh, tarot dice roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of swords. This is a seven of swords. The seven of swords represents. Uh, a lone wolf style, right? Going things um, the way that is solo, right? Doing things in a sneaky way, right? Passion, uh, passive aggression is a lot of times how this energy can manifest itself. So, um, I mean, sometimes we have to do things alone. Sometimes we have to do things in a less direct way, but still kind of shady, right? But that's that's kind of a uh, that that's what we pulled here. That's the theme of kind of what's going on right now. Yeah, um, Dottie posted her YouTube video for that I, in the in the comment section. Cool. Um, so real quick, shameless plug: uh, if you guys are interested in uh, joining the Mountain Mystic, the Mountain Mystic is a group. It's a private group where we can learn and share information. We do lots of things uh, with um, uh, uh, herbs, oils, crystals. Uh, we share, um, I, I actually have a tarot journey that I'm doing on there as well, where we have 78 days of tarot. Um, it's the first round through the journey right now, but have lots of ways that you can participate in the post to earn points. I have a grade book, kind of gets me back into my teaching mode, um, but it allows everybody a chance to learn uh, through, uh, learn about the cards together. Uh, in my personal teaching philosophy, teaching and learning is a three-way process. You learn from me as the teacher, but I also learn from you and we all learn from each other. So every post, every day of this post, we share, uh, I'll share a few different um, interpretations. I use Chira Marchetti's. I'll use the Gilded Tarot, the Tarot of Dreams and the Legacy of the Divine Tarot. There's all kinds of ways that you can earn points. You can earn points by liking or reacting to the to the post. You can comment, you can share pictures of your particular tarot deck um, of that day. You can comment on other people. I have journaling tasks. I have creative writing tasks. I have artistic discussions. I have, there's a scavenger hunt because Chira Marchetti hides his initials in the artwork of all of his cards. You get points for finding those. There's so many ways. And then in order, like as we, um, as I go through and I score them and I give people points, I, I line that up. The, the people who are in the top 10 of each like leg of 10, cause you know, it's a lot, 78 cards is a lot. So I break it down into like 10 day intervals. So if you're like top 10 in an interval, then you get in a drawing for a free reading, some cool stuff, like it's, um, it's a fun way to learn and get people involved. And when you're learning the tarot, if you can see side by side, everybody's different artwork and the different ways that the artwork kind of expresses itself, then you're able to uh, more, more readily solidify your understanding of those cards and things. So it's a really great way to, to kind of learn. Um, we have, Angie talks a lot about the crystals. Joanna is another one of our uh, admins in the group. So uh, you guys would definitely, uh, definitely learn a lot uh, just by being in there. It's a safe space. We have mystic share days where if you are coming into uh, learning a gift or want to exper experiment reading Oracle for other people, then that's something that we can, that you can do as well in our special days. You can do 
um, you know, lives or work on your whatever Oracle reading. If you wanted to do tarot for other people, you can open a post for that day and, uh, and participate in reading for other people. So there's a lot of opportunities to learn, to grow, to share. Uh, so it's a, it's a really great environment, um, safe space, no rude behavior, like no, none of the, um, uh, it's a safe space, right? So it's a really great place for people to pop in. So if it, is. That, it is, it uh, is definitely find us, seek us out. Yes. I, uh, I posted a link to the group in the comment section. Oh, great. So, Wonderful. so yes. And I, and I will also share it on the Rowan Temple of Light page and tag you in it. Cool. Thank so, you so much. That'll be great. Yeah. Okay. So Myra. Soul Trees Oracle. All right. Soul Trees. I'm excited to see this deck. Because we 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 talked about uh, a few decks that he has, and I'm I'm anxious to see this. So one of the things about this deck, one of the reasons why I like it, is when you uh, talk about an oracle deck, there's usually not more than anywhere between thirty to fifty cards. Usually forty four is like the magical oracle number. I'm not really sure why, but it just is. This particular oracle deck is eighty cards, and I wanted an oracle deck that kind of was on par with tarot because tarot is like 78 and this was the only oracle deck that i have found that rivals the tarot in terms of like how many cards and the different energies that it can express what it does though is like every card literally just has a tree and a word that's it right but it can tell you a lot depending on like the spread positions and how how you're coming through it. So who is this? Who's the lucky person with our soul trees today? Myra. Myra. Uh, I don't know if you have met her at any of the events or not. She does wire works and she creates some of the most beautiful jewelry. I have a bracelet that I got off of her and it spiraled. And oh my gosh, as soon as I seen it, it just was like, I need you. It, it's, it's just, it's beautiful. She, she's very talented. She goes over to, um, uh, it's not portals or on the wings of dreams over in the panhandle mm -hmm. and, um, and works with them. They do events and she was just over there wire wrapping over the week, the weekend. That's really true. Uh, uh, I, okay. I, I really can do the wire wrapping. Um, what I'm going to do here for uh, for you, Myra, is same same uh, same layout as with my um, uh, with the tarot, except we're we're just looking at the soul trees. So we have our central theme, and our central theme, Myra. We're looking. This is the change tree, except it's reversed, right? So I'm going to show it to you upright. This is the change tree. And because it's reversed, what I see this as is you're just really not wanting to go along with the change. Like you're not embracing the change. Like the change is happening and you're like, not today, Satan. You can just get out of here because I ain't trying to change today. Maybe not tomorrow either. Like I just feel a sense of resistance, right? And a lot of times we resist change because there is a fear of losing control underneath all of that. Like what is it? Why? Because when we, when things change, Maybe we have control over the situation right now, but when we change things, we might not. And that perceived potential loss of control is enough to make us resist the change. And that's the central theme of what we're looking at. What's working against you, though, inspiration. It's a reversed inspiration tree. And so uh, this idea of not really having any inspiration that's what's working against us. Like if you're not feeling, if you're not feeling inspired, then it's hard for us to, uh, to move forward. Right. I have, I, I've been kind of struggling with some of this myself, right. I, uh, really need to be more active with the MS gym, but I can't be bothered for that. I don't want to do that. Right. So this idea of not having inspiration is uh, a big part of why we're having a hard time, uh, accepting the change. But it's helpful for you to speak your truth, 
This is the speak your truth tree. And here it just, this is kind of reminding us that even though we don't like the change, even though we're feeling uninspired, it's helpful for us to kind of articulate that, to speak those things. Like if you're not wanting to embrace the change, why? Tell us why, right? And that will definitely uh, kind of get us moving in a good direction. I hope that finds you well, Myra. And she said it's it's on um, uh, at the on on the wings of dreams. That's that's the shop. So okay, um, that sounded great. Okay, so here we go. Oh my! My music stopped. That's because we went past our hour. That's okay. Oh. No, it's good. Um, okay. One, two, three, four, five, five, six. That's a six of swords. So a six of swords represents recovery. It, 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 a lot of times that comes after we've had to do something for ourselves. We've had to stand up for ourselves and now we're having this period of, of um, feeling a little blue about that situation, maybe uh, feeling the need to travel and get away from the situation, but it's definitely a sense of recovery. We, we've done something that we needed to do for ourselves, and now we're just kind of just living with that, you know, kind of allowing ourselves to have that mental break that we need moving forward. She says she totally gets that. Awesome. That's good. I, I, I love that we, we're we're getting good connections tonight. All right. So up next is Sheila. I hope you're still with us, darling. Sheila, thanks for hanging out with us this evening. All right. So Rebel Deck. Oh, snap. <laughs> All right, guys, listen, viewer discretion is advised. Because this deck, let me tell you, it is uh, no filter, zero oh. box. Yes. And I think it's a great, is, she, is Sheila our last person? Yes, she, she, no, Sheila's here, uh, Natalie and Beth, but it, and we won't take any more. Okay. This is great. This is good. So Sheila, what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to pull three of these cards out for you. These are really glossy cards. So sometimes it's hard to kind of get them all out there. So I'm going to pull three for you. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Sorry, these are like really hard to like maintain because they're super slick. The first one here says, Sheila, you got a feeling that you just can't shake. That little voice inside of you, listen to that shit. Got a feeling that you just can't shake. That little voice inside of you, listen to that shit. That's your first message. That little voice, Sheila, we call that our intuition, right? And it's usually got good things to say, even if it is, you know, not what you want to hear. Oh, I like these cards. <laughs> your number two here, believe what you see, face reality, or live in fucking la la land. Choose bravely. Face reality or live in fucking la la land. Choose bravely. Choose bravely, Sheila. And our last one. I know this is a lie, Sheila. Stop sleeping so damn much. Wake up. You're missing some cool shit. That's all of us, though. Like, that's how we're quarantined. What else can you do, right? There's there's not a lot of cool shit that you can do right now. So that's what we have, Sheila. I'm sending a lot of love to you, sweetheart. That is awesome. 
that 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 those are straight up messages for Sheila. Like those are straight up. Good, good, good. Um, so Sherry had asked um, for some healing energy. She had tested positive for COVID and been sick all week. Now her grandson is sick and running a fever. So if we could keep them in, in our thoughts and send them some healing energy, that would be greatly appreciated for a member of our community. Oh, no. Colin, give give Rose our love. Sheila said no, she doesn't sleep. Um, and she said thank you, love. Um, let me see. Natalie just got over COVID, and yeah, Emily, those cards were awesome. All right, so it's Natalie. Natalie's up. I will. I will do this. Oh no, I didn't give Sheila her thing. I can't. Uh, well, I'm buying you some time. Thank you. <laughs> God bless America. I'm just going to hit the bowl with this thing. Do it. Okay, I went to pull one out, but one jumped out. What'd you get? Another ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles. I'm gonna get this. The ten of pentacles represents. I can't get it. Dang it. The ten of pentacles represents a pentacle of uh, material success. The ten of pentacles is about affluence, permanence, convention, doing things the way we know they work, doing things the way uh, that. Um, that are tried and true, right? This is about having money, right? So ultimately, I feel some good finances coming your way, right? The Ten of Pentacles is a really great card if you're looking for some finances. Good. Good news for Sheila. Okay. Uh, Emily said, I think the healing energy y'all sent is helping. Little one is no longer hovering over the bucket. Miserable. He's fast asleep now. Oh, that's beautiful. Wonderful. All right, Miss Natalie. Oh, that's me, the Earth Magic cards. All right. These are beautiful, natural cards. I mean, like, look, look at the wind. Check out the wind. Oh, yes. Oh, that looks good. So, all right. And uh, Beth is last, and then we will say good night. So, Natalie, what do you need to hear, girlfriend? Oh, you are going to be going through a change. Um, definitely a good one. Um, again, I'm telling you, that they're all saying the same thing. Okay, so let me tilt this a little bit so you can see these. You have the tree cards for grounding. Forest card, breathe. Spring equinox, rebirth. It's all the changes. We are all going through them. And yeah, just take your, take your time. There's no rush on this change. I'm not saying it's not anything that you're going to have to make a fast decision on. But, um, but you are going to have to make it. All right, what you got? All right. We are looking at a queen of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. I'm going to show it to you if I can get it up here. Queen of pentacles. Well, she is, uh, she's loving, caring, 
and intuitive because that's kind of what we get from the rank of the queen. But because pentacles are an earthly thing, she's she, she's opulent. She likes fancy things. She likes nice things. Uh, she's got a taste for the sweet life, you know? And so that's this queen. That's this queen, right? She's... You just described Natalie. Does that just sound like somebody you know? That is that is Natalie. Beautiful. That's fantastic, Natalie. Thank you for thanks for being here. Uh, I'm trying to talk her on to come in here. She like me. She's only read intuitively, so we're we're all wanting to jump on and be like, okay, we want to learn now. So she actually asked to join Mountain Mystic. Oh, beautiful. So, so she's in a request there. So she's really excited. That's All nice. right. Um, on to Beth. Natalie said, yeah, that's me. <laughs> oh, the affirmation card for, for Beth. All right. Affirmators. All right. The affirmators are fun because they just kind of, ooh, I just totally dropped that dice. I'm a mess. All right. Where's my affirmators? Where'd you go? Oh, it was the first day. Okay. Sorry. If you guys could see me, I kind of have a card hell over here. I got like 15 different decks of cards and they're all just sitting around. Brenda also sent a request. So you're y'all are getting some good people tonight over there. Fantastic. All right, this is Beth. Beth, I had two cards pull out of the affirmators for, for you here. So I'm going to give them both to you. The first one says, Ideal partnership. I am a rare and precious find, and my brilliance will be reflected back to me when I am paired with a true match. My ideal partnerships and working relationships are easy and free-flowing. I deserve greatness because I am greatness. And to paraphrase Rumi, I am looking, what I'm looking for is also looking for me. In fact, he or she might be paraphrasing Rumi right now. Hmm. That's ideal partnership. Beth. Whether this is a romantic partner, or whether this is a uh, business partner, or whether this is a movie partner, whatever the case might be. All right, Beth, and the next one here. Don't take it personally. Don't take it personally. If someone starts to speak unkindly to me, I'll remember that they've got something going on that has nothing to do with me. Like, maybe they just pooped in their pants. Yeah, that's probably it. So don't take it personal, Beth. Don't take it personal. I mean, maybe that person just shat their pants. Like, they're not feeling okay. And maybe that's why they had a bad mood. I would be in a bad mood, too, if I pooped my pants. Right? That's kind of how that works. So there it is. Your ideal partnership. And don't take it personal. No. Okay. What do the dice have to say for Miss Beth? Six of Cups. Six of Cups. This is a, a lot of cups tonight. A lot of cups. This is a very emotional energy. Uh, Six of Cups is nostalgia, right? This is fond memories. This is like childhood, innocence, goodwill, right? When we think about when we were kids. And the fun things that we used to do as kids, these are like just kind of reminiscing and going back to those memories. So that's the that's the theme of what we got going on here. So maybe maybe we're kind of reminiscing on our ideal partnership, or maybe we're reminiscing on things that we tend to take personally. Right? Remember, Beth, that person who's giving you attitude, they probably just pumped their pants. <laughs> You had to go there, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just, I before before we close out, I just want to show what a couple of these look like. Okay, sure, so sure. there's the the fool. 
Mm-hmm. And the tower. Mm-hmm. We were talking a little bit like uh, before the show, we were talking about the, the arrangement of those dice because those dice, they, they tend to really have a lot of correlations between the other cards on the same die. Yeah. What do you think that is? Turn it upside down or right side up. Oh. <laughs> That's, good. That's okay. That, is that that's better? Like, yeah, that's the Hierophant. That's the Pope's hat. Oh my gosh. How did I not see that? That's okay. See, that's why I wanted to go over these because I think they're sure. cool looking. Oh. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Not a clue. I'm feeling some bondage and materialism with that one, though. Uh, yeah. Some um, addiction. Okay. That is the Empress. Oh, the lovers. Yes. And then there's going to be another one on here. Um, the moon. Uh huh. Now that particular die is full of major arcanas. Every die on that, or every side of that, is major arcanas. Stars, death. Oh yeah, there's death. Um, the sun. Uh uh huh. Uh, the world. Is the wheel the world? of fortune. The Wheel of Fortune, okay. Uh, oh, no, this is the world. Yep. And that's the only die in the set that, is, that has six major arcanas on it. Strength. Uh-huh. Hermit. Yep. See? I know a little bit. And one, <laughs> of, the thing, one of the things for those, that's justice. justice. On the... For the for the mountain mystic folks, like uh, if there's a there's a running for the second half, and the the folks who have the highest score, uh, the five highest scores will uh, be in the running to um, get a set of the tarot dice that I have wood burned myself into pine. So that that's something that that's kind of exciting too. So there'll be another set. Judgment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, would that be, is that Ace of Wands? Yep. Okay. And Ace of Swords. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's that? That's the King. That's the King of Wands. Okay. Because so with it being two wands. Uh, that's uh, with the Queen, the crown is more smooth and kind of looks like it might be a fabric type of crown. The King's crown looks more kingly. That's the emperor. Okay. All right. So, yeah. There are two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen dice. Mm -hmm. So, some yeah. of them will have the two two major arcanas on it. Um, the fool and the tower are on the same dice. A same die. The Emperor and the Hierophant are on the same die. The um, Strength and Hermit are on the same die. The Chariot. Uh-huh. Uh, and if, if, if there is two majors on the die, they are opposite each other. So if you see Chariot, if it has a major, it's going to be on the opposite side of it. I lost but, it already. But otherwise, they 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 kind of go in order. Yeah. Um, yeah. On the other side of the chariot is um, the five of cups. Right. Okay. Which is also interesting, right? Because the chariot represents hard to control. It's victory. It's will. It's jurisdiction. It's taking what's yours. But if you think about like the other side of that, like if you're on the other side of the taking, right? 
that five of cups represents loss, regret, and bereavement. So it's kind of like if somebody is like asserting their will on the opposite side of that die is some of the pain that comes with that, some of that emotional pain too. So that's kind of interesting that the way the die are structured like that. And with any of the cards, if you look at um, what's on its opposite side of the die, you kind of get that same relationship. These these dice um, come with a mat, and I have the mat. Um, I do not know where it is currently because of the move, but um, it it is a set. So, well, it was a set. <laughs> and, and it's crazy because those dice have been discontinued. You can't find them anymore. Terrocracy, Tarotocracy was the company that like made them. They don't make them anymore. And when I was uh, looking, I, that's actually what I wanted to give away on this second half of the tarot journey, which is why I'm making them myself because they're out, they're discontinued, and I still wanted people to have tarot dice. So I was like, I'll go ahead and make these myself. But they um, um, they they don't make. We there were I found a set on eBay for two hundred bucks. Like they were only like sixteen dollars when I bought them. So that's you know it's a little crazy. Okay, so do do we have time for one, just to slide in one final? Uh, sure, why not? Do that. Okay. All right. Because we only, only have three options left, so this has to be it. Okay, what are we using? The soul trees. Perfect. And this is for Phoenix. Phoenix, it's so good to see you. Thank you for being here. All right. Let me he said, um, do a cut. So he said, advice for work. It's really turning into a shit show. And um, he's just curious about what the cards say for a direction. Okay, so I'm going to do this as a three-step plan. So um, when I do three-step plans, I look at it like if the card is upright, this is an energy that we need to work with to usher in. If it is reverse, it's like, oh, this isn't helpful, and we need to work on kind of removing this energy. So step one for Phoenix. I hope this makes sense to you. This is a reversed birth. So step one is to pull back on this feeling of birth. Uh, are you in labor? No, honestly though, if you're painfully trying to come up with a new idea, maybe you're trying to birth this new idea. Maybe you're trying to birth a new beginning. Maybe you're trying to uh, pull back on that. We don't need to do that right now. We don't wanna reinvent the wheel. We don't wanna recreate, um, we don't need to start fresh is what I'm kind of getting here. That's the first step, that's step one. Step two, These are weird, Phoenix. I don't understand. So step two is uh, gratitude, but it's also reversed. I don't ever tell people to like cut back on the gratitude, but this looks like we need to cut back on the gratitude. Like, what is that? Maybe you're thanking people that don't need thanked. Maybe that's what's happening. Maybe you're uh, working a little too hard to satisfy people that are not that are that are not appreciating it right maybe there's a lack of gratitude on the part of others right so i, I feel like maybe that's what we're what we're looking at but the step two is to pull back on this i don't know what that is that feels weird to say it like that but i feel like there are people that you're giving your gratitude to that just don't appreciate it so maybe hold on to some of that for yourself you said that's making sense to him beautiful Step three is passion. This is the passion tree and it's upright, uh, which says to me that we need to embrace this energy. The things that you feel passionate about, do more of those. The things that motivate you, do more of those. Cause those are the things that are gonna motivate you to your higher self. Those are the things that are going to ultimately water your soul uh, but given to the path. Look, I've got it. We've got this tree and this tree. 
they they look like they're they they could be they could totally be brothers anyway so that's your step three phoenix is to embrace the passion go after the things that you feel passionate about okay as i put all the dice back in here <laughs> okay one last time what do we have here Uh, Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. We've actually pulled that one before. That's the one yeah. that we have or we don't have access to knowledge or the power or even having the power or the res excuse me, or the resources to be able to go forward the way we need to go forward. So since we're kind of talking about, you know, not birthing these new ideas, maybe not being so so grateful it may be understanding or recognizing that some of the things that we want to do are just outside of our hands it's just out of our hands when you look at Chira marchetti's uh artwork for the six of pentacles you see a guy and he's kind of holding the scale pentacles are kind of falling and you see two hands that are just kind of reaching you know and and sometimes sometimes we just don't have the things in our reach that we need and maybe we haven't asked the right questions. Maybe we haven't talked to the right person. Um, but at the time, maybe those things are outside of our reach. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Well, um, yes, all the positive vibes. Thank you all so, so much um, for joining us tonight. It has been an awesome night. Really I, I mean, everything has clicked. It's flowed very well. I, I really think, you know, it, it, every every reading has clicked and you know hit home with everybody that's awesome that's, awesome. that's great and and all the healing energy out there um all of us joining together for that you know it's just going to make it even more powerful yes so you want to take us out and and release um, well i don't have my dinner so i can think the bowl but i can't really sing it because okay. i don't have something to to, to sing it with Okay. Um, but I can, let's see how this sounds. If I just ding it with a soul tree. I don't, we can try it. Ready? Take a deep breath. Inhale. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And exhale slow. We're gonna do that two more times. Inhale. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Exhale. And one more time. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And exhale slow. beautiful thank you guys so much for being here this evening all right now just remember um the mountain mystic hop on over there there is so much information and it's so fun um actually angie stopped in she said she was in class so she'll watch the replay beautiful that's great yes now remember um if you missed it it will also be over on youtube um under Roman Temple of Light, just look for us and it and it'll be there. Um, so thank you all so much. We will see you next week, uh, Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Love you. Thank you so much, Zach, for joining us. No problem. All right, but good night, everybody. Bye guys. Bye.